What's up, friends? Welcome back. It's Tag Time once again, and I'm Pastor Carol. We have some word that God has for us to talk about today, and I am excited. I'm glad, and I appreciate the fact that you are here watching this video, getting God's word so that you can do what he has for you to do in your life. That is awesome. That's excellent. Before, before we get into the word, I want to remind you, or I'm reminding myself to tell you, um, wanting to send out some messages and stuff because it's hard to keep contact with everybody and know all the stuff that's going on. So if you could, please, if you want to be on the list, just a message or two a week, just general information. Sometimes it'll be a reminder to read a scripture or to pray, or it'll just be me saying, what's up? Uh, but if you want to be on that list, just text TAG to the number below the 7139 whatever whatever text tag to that number and you'll be put on the list again i'm not going to be sending you stuff all the time it's just some general information and opportunity for me to reach out to you and say what's up all right so don't forget that hopefully i'll remember to to remind you later for that uh so we can do that and move on so we're going to get into the word today we're going to start talking about christmas because friends it's Christmas, Christmas time. And so we are seeing the Christmas decorations all around. Christmas preparations are going on. Uh, school is almost out. I think after you watch this video, if you watch it on Sunday, you should have like one more week of school and then you'll be out for your Christmas break. And there's a lot that we can talk about with Christmas, um, but we are going to talk about it from the standpoint uh, that we always do where it's a holiday, it's celebrated all over the place, and we want to find out, should I celebrate this as a believer? And if so, how do I celebrate it as a believer? Because we know that as believers, we don't do everything that non-believers do. We want to live our life according to the Word of God, because we want to please the Father, and we want to be able to get the results that He says that we can have. If we don't do what He tells us to do, then we can't expect to have or receive what the Bible tells us that we can and should receive. So today, I just want to go over a scripture. It's not even about Christmas, but it is about Christmas. And we'll see how that's going to work in just a moment. So uh, we want to look at Christmas. Should we celebrate? How to celebrate? All that kind of stuff. We're going to talk about Christmas and such this week and next week. And that'll probably be it. But we'll see how the spirit moves. So uh, the first thing we're going to do, you can prepare, get ready, turn, swipe, flip in your Bible over to Matthew chapter 23. And then we're going to look at the scripture of Matthew chapter 23 in just a moment. But to set up, what are we talking about? Christmas is what we're talking about. What is Christmas? Well, if we can uh, uh, identify it, clarify Christmas. Christmas is the celebration of Jesus Christ being born in the world. Now, if you read through the Bible, particularly in John and just all throughout the New Testament, you'll see that Jesus is God. All right. So God, we have a, a three part God, it's three in one, who is God, the father, and you have God, the son and God, the Holy Spirit. Jesus, which is God the Son, also known as the Word, put on flesh and was born in the world to redeem man back to being able to have a relationship with God. Christmas, if you look at the word, it's Christ Mass, and it became a Mass celebration of Christ. And so when we're saying Christmas, when we're celebrating Christmas, it really just is supposed to be celebrating Jesus Christ. So in our culture, in our day, uh, a lot of other things go on. There are other holidays that are being celebrated right along Christmas time. Uh, there are some people that don't even want to say Christmas because they don't want to recognize Christ and all these other things. Some stores won't allow their employees to say Merry Christmas or your school probably doesn't call Christmas break Christmas break anymore, which it always used to be. But now because two or three people said they were offended, now they call it the holiday break or the winter break or some other such thing because they don't want to say Christmas. Well, that word Christmas has the name of Christ in it. And that's why some people are offended. That's why some people don't want to use that word. So obviously we're followers of Christ. 
right? We are brothers and sisters of Christ. Now, you can only be one of those, just to be clear. You're either a brother of Christ or a sister of Christ. But we're brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ. We're heirs and joint heirs. And so God is our father after we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. So yes, we absolutely want to celebrate Christmas. Yes, we want to engage. We say Merry Christmas. We want to be all about the Christmas celebration. But we want to remember that as we celebrate Christmas, that our celebration is built around celebrating Jesus Christ. We don't want to go the commercial route. We don't want to go the worldly route. Um, you know, Santa Claus is not in the Bible. Santa Claus is really actually nothing to do with Christmas. It was just an add-on uh, that people came in. There's different stories and stuff like that. Maybe we'll look at that next time. Maybe we won't. But what we do want to know and what we do want to focus on is that Christ is in Christmas. Sometimes you might see a bumper sticker that says, keep Christ in Christmas. Because a lot of people have taken steps to take Christ out of Christmas. So when we get together and as we celebrate in our homes and among our families, our celebrations should be round about Jesus Christ coming to the earth. Next week in particular, we want to talk about why that's so important, why it's such a big deal, and why it's cause for celebration. It goes beyond just celebrating someone's birthday which technically Christmas is an, obser an observance of the birth of Jesus Christ. And so it's like celebrating his birthday. We're celebrating the birth of Jesus. Yes, we are. But it goes beyond just celebrating a birthday. We're celebrating a birthday, the birthday, of the most influential person in human history, in all mankind, the most influential person being Jesus Christ. And then as we look next week, we'll see all the spiritual implications that happen because Jesus came to the earth. But before we can get into really celebrating Christmas the right way, we want to get our hearts and minds right, and that's what we're going to look at and talk about today. So we're going to use technically a non-Christmas scripture to talk about Christmas and how we can prepare ourselves to celebrate Christmas in a way that will be pleasing to God. So we told you we're going to go in Matthew chapter 23, I want you to look down that, scroll down, turn over to verse number 27. I'm going to read verse number 27 and look at this non-Christmas scripture and see how it applies to Christmas. Number 27 says, Woe, in the King James Version, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because that's an exclamation mark, hypocrites, for you are like unto Whited sepulchres or sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and all uncleanness. Whoa, he says. We want to explain a couple of things just in case you don't know what they mean. When he refers to scribes and Pharisees, back in the day, in the day of Jesus, the, the scribes and the Pharisees, they were the super religious people. They were the religious Leaders. They were like the group of all the Bible teachers. Um, and, you know, our society is a lot different today. But, you know, there were a certain group of people who would study scripture all the time and they would teach scripture. And they had uh, a very high level of education in the Bible. Something like your pastors today, like people that go uh, to seminary or theology schools and things like that. But the scribes and the Pharisees, they were the ones that were supposed to be the most religious. They were the ones that were supposed to know the most about the Bible. And they were the ones that were supposed to be living the most holy lives. And so what we see is that he's calling them out and he says, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, woe unto you, super religious people that are supposed to be the prime example of Christianity and what following God is all about. He calls them hypocrites. You know what a hypocrite is, right? Hypocrite says one thing and does another, looks one way but is another way. Don't be a hypocrite. He calls them hypocrites because they are pretending and they are being opposite than what they are saying. He said, because you build tombs of prophets, or no, it's the wrong verse. Uh, he said, you are like unto wide sepulchers, sepulchers, which need appear beautiful outward but are within, full of men, dead men's bones and all uncleanness. Hmm. He's saying, 
you look the part on the outside, but you are not the part on the inside. He says on the outside, everything looks good. You know, you might go to church on Christmas or Christmas Eve. You might say, oh, happy birthday, Jesus, or whatever the case might be. You might look like you're celebrating Jesus, but the question is on the inside, do you really care? Do you really think it's something great to be celebrated, the birth of Jesus Christ? And so what we are wanting to focus on in this non-Christmas scripture that we're using for Christmas is that if we're going to celebrate Christmas and we're thinking, saying, uh, applying Merry Christmas, let's make sure that we're not just saying words, but in our mind and our heart, all we're concerned about are the gifts, or all we're concerned about is the time off, or all we care about is just, you know, not going to, not having to go to school, hanging out, eating food for Christmas dinner, having a good time, getting all the presents, doing whatever, all that other kind of stuff. If that's where our mindset is, if that's the main part or portion of our Christmas celebration, we too are the hypocrites that he's calling out in this scripture. So in the back in the day, they had a tomb, which is a sepulcher, and that's where they would put, you know, their dead, gone, deceased people, and they would paint it white on the outside. They try and make it look clean and nice and good. And he's saying, look, it looks all nice on the outside, but inside it's messed up. Now he's using a metaphor. He's saying, scribe and Pharisee, you're like that tomb. You look nice and clean on the outside. You look holy on the outside. You look like you're doing the right thing. But man, if we could peel back the curtain and really get into your mind and get into your heart, scribe and Pharisee, we would see that you're not all nice and clean on the inside. So what am I encouraging you to do? And what am I encouraging me to do? And that is, that's just to make sure as we go through our Christmas celebration, that our mind is on Jesus that we are really seriously uh, thinking about and enjoying the fact that Jesus came to the world. So next week, again, like I said before, we're going to talk about why that's important. What does that mean? Um, and we're going to look at why, you know, what thoughts we can have in our head that tell us it's so important and it's so great. Till then, I just want you to focus in and just start to think about, man, do I really think that Christmas is a great time because Jesus came and because of what we're celebrating as far as Christians and Christianity? Or, I don't know, am I just thinking like, I, you know, I just want to be out of school. I just want to be able to hang out with people. I just, man, I can't wait to get these gifts. I've been waiting. I want these shoes, these earbuds, these earphones. I can't wait to get my new phone, my new device. That's what Christmas is. Christmas is about gifts and presents. Oh, it's very easy for us to fall in that trap. And so if that's kind of how you celebrate Christmas or if that's where you're kind of identifying with right now, no condemnation. It's what the Bible says. No condemnation. Don't feel bad. But start to turn your mind and get your head fixed around the idea that Christmas is about Jesus. Christmas is about him coming to the world and giving us a gift that we can freely receive. And as we receive a gift, we have that much more gifts to be able to to pass out to others. All right, my friends, that's it for the word. Go ahead and check yourself before you wreck yourself. I'm Pastor Carol. Uh, don't forget, if you want to just get on the list for reminders and information updates, what's ups and hellos, text tag T-A-G-G -G to the number down on the screen right there. I'll get you on that list and I'll send you a hello and appreciation for you stopping by. All right, friends, that's it. I'm Pastor Carol, and I'm out.